Good morning. I'm John Hudson, pastor of Pilgrim United Church of Christ in Sherburne, Massachusetts, and the writer of Spiritually Speaking, a weekly newspaper column for Gannett Media. And I welcome you to another of my twice weekly video essays with thoughts about how all of us can lean into and get through these strange and amazing days. As I talk to my friends and neighbors and family members, I hear that many of us are taking up new pursuits and hobbies and pastimes to get us through this time at home, to see this extra time as an opportunity to learn new things. Some are at now making masks at home as they dust off their sewing machines or take up needle and thread, many for the first time. Others are running, lacing up their shoes, getting back in shape or on the road for the first time in years or for the first time ever. Not wanting to squander some of the extra time that I find myself with, I decided to take up gardening, vegetable gardening, to plant seeds in soil and water them and weed them and then reap the harvest. You can see my plant tray right here. It's coming along with tiny green shoots. And yet, and yet, you see, I want it to grow faster, truth be told. I want to come down the stairs tomorrow morning and see not a puny little bud, but instead a climbing vine. I want these cucumbers and tomatoes and green beans to show themselves. And not then and not in months, but now, as in right now, as on my time clock, not the seeds time. But of course, that's not how gardening works. That's not how nature works. That's not how creation works. One of the big spiritual stumbling blocks I am facing right now is wanting this weird time in our collective lives to just be over, over, and right now. I want to worship in a church full of people right now. I want to go to a baseball game and sing in my choir right now and throw a big party at my house right now. I want things to work out on my schedule, on my time clock. But of course, I can't do those things. We cannot either, and not right now. Because this COVID-19 virus, it's working on a very different schedule, its own schedule, a long game, months, maybe a year, even longer to develop effective treatments, to create a surefire vaccine, to tame and defeat this invisible enemy. This will take time, a long time, and that is a hard pill to swallow, especially for those of us used to living in a right now world. On-demand TV and movies, instant knowledge on the internet, right now news delivered immediately to our smartphones, door-to-door -door food, in minutes, instant, everything. But this virus, this time, friends, it cannot be rushed, not without putting our loved ones and this world and even ourselves at risk. We want to unlock our lives, but we can't, not yet. The seeds have been planted, but they are going to take some time to grow. One of my favorite scripture passages speaks to this truth, that most of life happens in seasons, in seasons, and not right away, and not right now. As one writer observed, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to tear and a time to sow. That's good wisdom to remember these days, that although we all want things to shift and to change and to go back now, right now, to the way it was, that's not the way this life unfolds. No, we live in seasons, seasons that take time. And so in this season, we plant seeds but for the final harvest to be realized, we need patience, we need resolve, we need daily commitment, we need a power greater than us 
to keep us going. And we need one another to move through these times and this season. I will enjoy the fruits of this garden, but it is going to take a while. God help me to remember that truth. Thanks for joining me. Our church offers worship every Sunday morning on this Facebook page at 9.50 a.m. And we invite you to be a part of that community. Take care and I pray that you and yours and your loved ones, that all of us, that we can keep the faith. Be well, stay safe, and God bless all of us. And God bless our world.